Phone scams are nothing new, but thanks to artificial intelligence, they are getting more sophisticated and more believable. Scam artists are now using AI to clone voices to trick unsuspecting victims. CBS's Carter Evans takes a look at this frightening new technology in our continuing series, The Age of AI. Jennifer DiStefano will never forget the frantic call she got from her 15-year-old daughter, Brianna. And she goes, Mommy's bad men have me. Help me, help me, help me. And this man gets on very aggressive. Listen, here I had your daughter. And then that's when I went into panic mode. The man demanded a million dollars. I said that was impossible. Uh, so then he came up with a $50,000. She never paid the money and would soon learn the call was a popular AI scam. New software can recreate the voices of loved ones in distress, and scammers use that to ask for large sums of money. This man comes on the phone. He said, you're going to give me $5,000. I heard our daughter on the phone. Like, it was unmistakably her. Americans lost nearly $9 billion to fraud last year alone, up more than 150% in just two years. Younger people experience fraud and fraud losses more often than older people. But it's that older adult who has so much to lose. Cybersecurity expert Pete Nicoletti created my voice from old news reports online. What you're you're about to hear is something I never said. Hey, this is Carter. I need your credit card number right now. <laughs> I mean, that really sounded like me. It is you. It's okay. cloned you. It's AI Carter. To test it out, we called my mother. Hey, I'm about to do an interview, but I have a quick question. I need you to text me your driver's license number as soon as you can. She fell for the fake voice. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel terrible I think we about just it. scammed my mom. <laughs> Did you just get a call for me? Asking for my driver's license number? Yes. That was an AI-generated voice. Oh, God. Carter, that's scary. Is this the real you now? I this, <laughs> this is the real me now. We live in a post-real society. You can't trust the voice, you can't trust the photo, and you can't trust the video anymore. A voice is like a fingerprint, and that's that unique fingerprint that's being exploited and weaponized. It has to stop. And nor the technology is really improving soon. Scammers will be able to react instantly to anything you say by converting their voice into the voice of your loved one in real time. Carter, this is scary stuff, really eye-opening. So what can people do to protect themselves? Well, there's a couple of things you can do right away. And the first thing is to create a safe word that only your family is going to know. Secondly, you want to make your social media accounts private. Don't give that information away to potential scammers to use against you. And finally, if you get one of these calls, hang up. Call them back. Make sure they're really in trouble. Carter Evans, thank you.